Today, I'm gonna show you how to build some bigger shoulders using only a pair of dumbbells. Check it out. The first big mistake that guys tend to make when they're on the quest to building bigger shoulders is focus exclusively on this exercise right here, the seated dumbbell shoulder press. Now, is it a great exercise that's awesome for building mass in your shoulders? Sure, but what most of us are doing when they're strictly using just this exercise is only targeting the anterior head as well as a bit of the lateral head as well. But oftentimes, this is the only exercise they're doing in their whole shoulder routine. And what this is going to do is it's going to neglect portions of the shoulder, including the posterior head. One of the downfalls of performing only shoulder presses is the all too common shoulder injury that's caused from an overdeveloped anterior head. This will often take the form of a rotator cuff injury. So take my advice and don't strictly just do the dumbbell shoulder press or the military press, standing or seated. Tend to your lateral and your posterior head of the delts. Now that I've gotten my initial public service announcement out of the way, we're going to be moving on to our very first exercise. Typically I like to begin with a heavy compound movement. This one right here is the standing military press performed with a pair of dumbbells. For this exercise I like to get about three sets for five to eight repetitions. The low repetition range, well that's for the purpose of being able to lift heavy weight. Because a heavy weight you're not going to be able to lift for too many repetitions. Now what's awesome about this exercise is the fact that it's going to be hitting all three heads of my delts. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this isn't going to be fully targeting the lateral and the posterior head of my delts. It will mostly just target the anterior head, but it will have an effective ability at pre-exhausting the lateral and posterior heads for the remainder of my workout. Directly after, I'm going to be getting onto more of an isolation exercise. The purpose of this one is to target just a little bit more of my anterior head. For this exercise, I'm going to be performing about three sets for 12 to 15 repetitions. Now, when performing any movement like this, or the lateral, or even when you're bent over and you're doing a reverse fly, what I need you to always keep in mind is that you're using your shoulder. You're not using your back to help you get that weight up. You're using strictly the shoulders. In order to do this, I'm going to need a slow and controlled motion. No thrusting here. And make sure that you have a weight that's light enough for you to actually lift. Most guys make the mistake of using way too heavy of a weight. And as a consequence of that, they're going to have to incorporate things such as their back in order to actually lift the weight up. Don't be a hero. Try a lower amount of weight. Focus on bringing the weight up in a controlled manner. Bring it down nice and slowly. Controlled manner, bringing it down nice and slowly. So for my next exercise, I'm going to be engaging in some of the seated lateral raises. Now, there's a reason I do it seated as opposed to standing. The reason that I'm doing it seated is so that I can have my upper as well as my middle back completely flush with the back of this bench. What this is going to do is entirely eliminate any ability that my body might have in order to assist me in lifting this weight. I want this to be entirely focused on my shoulders specifically that lateral head. By putting my body in this position, I'm really ensuring that the only way the weight is coming up is by the use of my lateral deltoids. For this exercise, I'm gonna be getting about three sets for 12 repetitions. Now what's important to know here is that I'm specifically trying to target the lateral head of my deltoids and not the anterior. That's already been taken care of. When I'm lifting my arms up laterally, as opposed to having the dumbbell come up out in front of me, as you can see the distance from my head to the dumbbell here, I'm having it more out to the side. What this is going to do then is allow this exercise to be as targeted on the lateral head as I possibly can. The more I move it out into the front, the less I'm targeting just the lateral head and the more I'm incorporating my anterior head. So the more lateral you can make it to your body, the more you're going to be focusing on that lateral head. My final exercise here is the bent over lateral flies. As you can see, I've got about a nice 45 degree angle engaged here. And what this is going to allow me to do is specifically target the rear head or the posterior head of my deltoids. As I've mentioned, that posterior head is often the most underdeveloped area of every guy's set of shoulders. So I like to spend a little bit more time targeting this muscle by using a little bit higher of a rep range. For all my other targeting isometric exercises focused on either the anterior or the lateral head of my deltoid, I was only using about 12 repetitions. For my posterior head, I'm going to be engaging in about three sets of anywhere from like 15 
all the way up to 20 repetitions. I do a lot of pressing movements, so I want to make sure that I don't have way too much overdevelopment in the anterior and that lateral head of my deltoid, and way too much of an underdevelopment in that rear head. As I've mentioned, an underdeveloped rear deltoid and even lateral deltoid will take the form of plaguing injuries such as damage to rotator cuff, so I ensure that I'm always hitting that posterior head and I'm always hitting it hard. So again, three sets, 15 to 20 repetitions, and just as I've been demonstrating with all of my dumbbell raises targeting for the shoulders, there's no momentum. I'm not swinging up here. If I have to, the weight's too heavy. I'm doing a nice and slow tempo, engaging the hell out of those posterior deltoids and really getting a squeeze at the top there so I can burn out my shoulders and finish this awesome mass building shoulder workout. So there you go. That's the conclusion of my mass building shoulder workout. As you can see, it's nothing really complex. All I'm really trying to do with this whole shoulder workout is ensure that I'm hitting all three heads of my deltoids and I'm doing my best to prevent injury by engaging in a lot of training on that posterior head of my deltoid. Neglecting that area will cause a lot of shoulder injuries, such as the ones that I've always mentioned, so ensure you're always hitting that muscle. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like down below, and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you won't wanna miss. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a pair of bigger dumbbells